How you feel, Greg? <laughs> yeah, obviously, um, yeah, a really proud moment, really excited for um, obviously the World Cup and, and my first. So to fulfil, I guess, a, a childhood dream is going to be an amazing, uh, an amazing experience for me. But first and foremost, there's one more game to go until that um, World Cup and it's the biggest game in our calendar. Can you talk us through Monday night and what ended up being Tuesday morning from your perspective sitting at home? Yeah, so I was sitting at home, I was waiting for a phone call, got to about 10.30 and I still was waiting, so I figured I'd just go to sleep and see what happens overnight. So I woke up in the morning to the text message um, from the team manager that I was in the squad and obviously um, a lot of joy from that and then spoke to Graham Arnold that night. Um, and yeah, obviously again, he said congratulations. Um, obviously he's been really busy um, speaking to all, I guess probably all 55 that were in that initial um, squad selected. But yeah, very proud moment and yeah, really excited for it. Are you second guessing yourself? Are you worried at all at 10.30 at night when you lay down and you haven't had a call or a text message? Um, yeah, probably not really second guessing as, as such, but just thinking, all right, hurry up. You're, you're making the anticipation too much. So um, yeah, obviously really happy or well, nice message to wake up to in the morning. And the chat with Arnie? Yeah, just con obviously congratulations and, um, you know, there's, there's one more game to, to go until um, the World Cup and, and his big message is we don't want to be just a participation in this World Cup. We want to be able to go there and, and try and do something special um, and he really believes that and so does the team. So, you know, it's, it's about um, doing the business um, for club and, and then getting over there and going with the mindset that we're not just there to make up the numbers, we're there to really um, push and, and make something special happen. Arnie compared you yesterday to David Beckham, how does that make you feel? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, maybe in, in style, maybe in style of play in, in some parts. Um, I think David Beckham's a far better, far better player in, in terms of his career than, than what I've had, but yeah, it's a nice comparison. But I always just look to, to play my game and, and do my best for the team and I'm looking forward to this World Cup and trying to have a really big impact. Uh, another comment from yesterday, Halloran said that he thinks you're good enough to be in the starting 11. How much would that mean to you? Yeah, obviously um, I'm confident in my own abilities, whether it's coming off the bench or in a starting position. It's always the goal to be in that starting position and you, you want to get to that first game in, in the World Cup and, and to see your name on the starting, um, starting lineup would be massive. So to get that, I have to be playing and, and doing consistently well with Adelaide. Um, and like I said, this is the biggest game in, in Adelaide United's calendar and it's the one that means the most to the fans and the most to us players. So we have to make sure and I have to make sure that my game is at its very best um, for this one and that'll give me the best chance to be in a, a starting position or, or to feature in, in the World Cup games. Do you think there is a possibility that you could be in the starting 11? It's something I'm not really thinking about right now. It's something I'll, I'll take care of and, and think about a lot more once I'm, once I'm there and in the training sessions there and trying to put myself in, in that frame. Um, of course, I, I would want to start, I would want to be in that position, but it's something that doesn't come without the hard work. Possibly. Um, it, it'll all depend on the style of play that um, the coaching staff want to go for and, and the opposition we're playing against. Um, like I said, I back myself uh, against anyone and against uh, any opposition and uh, any style of play. So for me, it's just about doing my bit and performing uh, my game here and then in the training sessions there and, and then taking care of whatever, whatever role I have, whether that's starting, uh, I know what I have to do, whether that's off the bench and I have to come on and, and try and change the game. So. Um, that's, that's it for me, it's about taking it in my stride and whatever comes, then I'll just adjust my mindset in that way. You've kicked 46 goals in Adelaide United Colours. How much would it mean to boot one in the green and gold? Yeah, obviously, I think to, to score at a World Cup would you know, be right up there with the best moments of my career. It's, it's obviously, it would be a dream come true. Um, and it's something I obviously do want to do and, and have my, my mind set on, on doing that. I back myself, um, like I've said, in, against any opposition and it, hopefully the chance will come um, when I'm there to, to step out onto the field and, and to have chances at goal or to, to create um, for the team. Um, again, I'll, I'll take that in my stride and, and I'll play my game and, and the chances should come.
any bit of you that um, goes, maybe I shouldn't play on Friday night, risk of injury and whatnot? <laughs> Absolutely not. Uh, there is no chance you would take me out of this fixture against Victory. It's the one fixture, like I said before, the one fixture that I look at at the start of the season and go, right, when are we playing Melbourne Victory? When's it at home? Um, so it's a night game, Friday night, stage is set for a massive, uh, a massive performance from us, uh, a really good atmosphere and a really good crowd. And, and we'll get to see the stadium, I think, at its very best with the upgrades that have been um, put into it. So I'm really looking forward to it. Yeah, the fixture, fixture definitely is, it's the atmosphere that it brings, it's the rivalry that's there from the history and the, the matches that have gone before um, and everything about it you can just see and, and sense during the week and, and on game day that it means more than, than any other fixture. So we know it's going to be a fantastic crowd, um, we know that they've got a very good away support uh, travelling as well, so it's, it's going to be a really good spectacle. I think. It's a great chance for us. We've, we've won, obviously, the last two, and, and hopefully we can have a really good performance against Victory. And that's a very South Australian name. I don't think any, or most players will come in with that a few days before they fly out. If you're not the only South Australian in the squad, but how does it feel to be the captain of the South Australian side going to the World Cup, representing your state? Yeah, it's, it's obviously massive. Um, you know, like I said before, as, as a young boy, you, you grow up dreaming of these uh, being in these scenarios and, and these situations. But the thing for me is I try and ground myself and think, you know, how do I picture these situations when I'm a kid? I don't picture just being there, I picture actually doing something there and, and making a real impact. So, you know, every time I, I step out onto the field wearing an Adelaide United jersey, I, I give my, my absolute best and, and try to do my best for the team and, and for the fans and, and this club. And it'll be no different at the World Cup. This hasn't been a short or easy journey going through the MPLs, a couple of A-League clubs. Moments like you get that message that you stop for a bit and how do you reflect on that journey and finally getting to this point? Yeah, I think that's obviously what makes it um, such a joyous moment is uh, every player that's been selected will reflect somewhat um, on their journey and, and their career. Um, and we have one saying in, in the soccer is within the group, um, I think they've just made it public, it's many journeys, one jersey. And it's a message that hits home, it was created by the, the playing group, um, I think in Arnie's first camp. And, and it is exactly that, it's, you know, everyone has their own journey to get to, to where we are and, and to get into the team. And, and it's about putting all those journeys together and, and, and having a really strong bond within the group to perform for this country. Feels like you've somehow become even more prominent in South Australia since receiving the captaincy. Now you go into the World Cup with all these kids looking after you. You play for the local club. Do you enjoy? How do you enjoy being in that spot as a role model? I guess. I think so. Yes. I think um, having that responsibility, but trying to pass on what I've learned to, to younger kids and even the younger ones in, in our team, um, and trying to I guess install in them. Um, you know, the kind of attitude and, and resilience um, that I've had to go through through my career. I'm trying to prepare them for that because it doesn't matter how easy or hard you have it in terms of your path to getting um, a professional contract or having a professional career. Throughout that road, you're going to have a lot of setbacks and a lot of ups and downs and you have to be resilient no matter how uh, easy or hard it is for you to get there in the first place. And um, Arnie seems to suggest that your set piece delivery is going to be really important. Yeah, well, that, that's exactly it. I think, obviously, f set pieces I'm very comfortable on um, and I'm confident every week that I'm going to put the ball in the right spot. So that's one thing we focus on with Adelaide quite a lot. But I feel my game is a lot more than that and I know that I don't need a lot of the ball to make um, a good chance or to set my teammates up for a chance to score. I think you can see over the past few seasons I really can contribute with goals and assists. Um, but having said that, it's I don't want to think about too much of, you know, what can I do for the team or what, what parts do I need to, to really impact it. I just look at the situation as it is and, and try and focus on what's in front of me. So once I'm in camp and I know what my role is, I'll know what I need to do um, for the team. But obviously I'll be looking to bring as, as much as I possibly can and having as big an impact as possible.
I think the only comparison to Beckham was because he said this. Do you think, do you think you're as good as that Beckham? <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't think so. I think, I think he's probably the best of all time in terms of free kicks and, and everything like that. So, um, Having said that, I do have a lot of confidence in my own ability. I know, um, and you can see from our play over the last few seasons, we've scored a lot of goals from set pieces and we're very dangerous. Um, and that's not just testament to me, that's a testament to the other players on the end of it and the coaching staff for the, the setup and the designs that we have. So, yeah, I, I'm really confident in my ability to, to make an impact um, for the national team. And if given the chance, I'll, I'll be relishing that opportunity. Um, I think it's very much unchanged from um, the squad. I know Nick's, Nick Ansel is getting um, fitter and stronger, which is really exciting, and I'm hoping to see him back in soon because I think he's a very, obviously, very quality player. Um, but yeah, pretty much unchanged, I think. Um, and how incredible is it to be going with two other South Aussies over to the World Cup? Yeah, I think um, obviously I've had a. I've played with Awa, so he's, he's the one of the two that I have more of a relationship. Um, so I've been on a lot of camps with him and you know, obviously was in, we were both involved in the shootout and on, on the same flight back so there was good conversations about that and, and you know, hopefully being in this position um, and being um, at the World Cup. So yeah, I think it's a, it's a great testament to the, I guess, the South Australian football programs um, to have um, more than a couple players in there. Um, but yeah, it'll be a special moment.